Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about The Flash Season 5, and we've got some more Reverse Flash stuff to talk about. There was a really interesting, really great video from Carlos Valdez and Tom Kavanagh about their season greetings, and it's to do with Season 5, and like, just wishing everyone a happy Christmas, but also it links into The Flash. As the title said, it's five Eason's greeting instead of season's greetings. And so we'll talk about that in a minute, but also we're going to be talking about some interviews to do with Reverse Flash. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. So let's first off start with this video because I think there's quite a lot to actually sort of theorize about in this bit and it excites me because, you know, it was a nice little teaser at the end. And so they're doing their season greetings, like funny sort of like comedy sketch. And I really, really enjoyed this video. I highly recommend you check it out. It's on Carlos Valdez's YouTube channel. That will be in the description below, or you can just type it in and find his channel. But anyway, so at the end of this, the camera, like the iPhone camera or whatever, pans down and goes down and looks at a photo of the reverse flash. Yes. This does look very similar if you type in reverse flash on Google Images or anything like that. This image comes up, but it's different, isn't it? It's rather different, and so everything else surrounding is the same, but the suit has changed. So why would Tom Kavanagh have a picture of the suit? And the fact that the title of the video is Season's Greetings, and they give a present of sorts at the end of it, so is this a teaser? that we're getting a new reverse flash suit. I will have a side-to-side -side comparison, but the photo he's got on his desk, and he's got multiple copies of, is a different flash suit. And so, on that suit, in the video, there's the black armor on the outside, there's sort of like where the normal padding is, it's a bit more extended out, and it's black, and we have some sort of black lines going down the side of his chest, and, you know, it's just more defined and less sort of moldy yellow, as in the original suit and the original look of this image. I don't know if it was an official image. I think the original drawing and the original thing that Tom's photo is based upon may be an early sort of sketch of the reverse flash. And so, yes, it's different. The suit has different gauntlets, seems to be more sort of like lava-like, and it's more defined, essentially, and it has more sort of black in the yellow contrasting and the suit's a bit different like in the lower half it has less yellow and it's got those black sort of outlines in the trousers and then as we go up to the cowl the cowl has black on it so i think this is a definite teaser this is our season's greetings so potentially the future version that we saw at the end of the hundredth episode is this version of Thorn from Crisis on Earth X that has been confirmed a few days ago. And so this version maybe has this new suit because I don't see why they would change this design and actually not use it. So what's the point? So I do believe the Reverse Flash has a new suit that's going to be appearing sometime later this season. And this is sort of like the concept first look at this. And I think this was a really, really nice thing to implement at the end of their season's greetings video. I'm really, really excited for Reverse Flash to return. And if he has this new suit, this excites me so much. I really do like this design. And also, it's just great to see Tom Cavanaugh return as the fan favorite. But he's going to be different. And this is teased in this interview that we're going to be going over with. This was an interview with GameSpot.com. And we're going to be going through each of these quotes, talking about it, breaking it down, and let's do this right now. So, Jessica Parker Kennedy, who plays Nora, had this to say. There's something going on, but we don't understand exactly what it is, she said. Obviously, as the season goes on, that will make sense. But I think the biggest thing is, is Nora good when there's a part of Nora that's bad? What are the reasons she's there? This is Jessica actually teasing what's happening next and, you know, giving us some questions as the fans. And essentially what she teases at is, yes, there's this darker part of Nora, this actually exists. And, you know, she is doing this for a reason. Like, why would she be helping the Reverse Flash out? She knows he's the Reverse Flash. He's Barry's greatest enemy. So what is the reasoning? And so she's teasing, yes, we will get these answers, most likely not straight away. And that's going to be sort of a mystery that's going to linger on a bit longer. And so we will have to start to question, 
is Nora good when there's a part of her that's bad? And I think that can be said for basically any hero. That could be said for Green Arrow. He's very dark. He has that bad side of him. But also he's a hero. So I think there is chance yet for Nora to be that fully fledged hero. Even if everyone finds out about her working with Reverse Flash. So let's move on to the next quote. And so... This is what Kavanaugh says. I always think if you're fortunate enough to be on a long running TV show, maybe you don't necessarily have to reinvent, but it's best not to get too staged in. What you present to the viewership, because I think they know you know an occasion ignition in one way or another, he explained. I think that with taking the classic villain, keeping him the classic villain, but showing a different era or different side or different aspect, if you will, with it was enjoyable. So essentially what Tom is actually teasing is that with them bringing back the reverse flash, with him being this villain, like the main overarching villain most likely of the back half, we don't know if he's going to stay the whole season long, but we presume he is. With him returning to play this character, he's talking about the different aspects and how it's going to sort of differ from this version that we're so used to seeing and so there will be a difference in the way that he has these different aspects of himself maybe he's aged more it seems like and maybe he's wiser and so this different aspect is going to be seen with inside him and that's what Tom is aiming for as an actor and I do believe it's going to be great and so he's just teasing the different sides and he's going to sort of reinvent but not totally reinvent but also not forget like everything from before and not move on so he is moving on but in a more sort of held back way of sorts and so now moving on to the next quote so showrunner Todd Helbing had this to say we don't want to just do the same villain over and over and if we had the exact same attitude with Eobard Thorne that we've had this whole time that's not going to be interesting either he said so he was part of the pitch from the very beginning and I think what we really wanted to do was just see a different attitude from Thorne that we hadn't see him in a different light and you know there's a big theme of legacy this season and so when we started talking about that with every other character and then we got to thorn it's like what does your legacy mean so that's what we start to touch on in the background so this is a lot we're going to be breaking this down essentially what todd is teasing is with eobard thorn returning they don't want to keep him the exact same they want to change him in a way that's going to be interesting so like Tom mentioned they're going to be manipulating him and sort of advancing him in this new way and so apparently he was part of the pitch of season 5 from the very start and he also teases that this season we're going to be seeing this different attitude like I mentioned but seeing him in a different light and continuing this theme of legacy and what does legacy mean to him as a character and so Thorne's legacy is obviously battling the Flash, loving him and then hating him. That is his overall legacy. And so the Flash is going to start actually as a show touching on that in the background as they do tease. So in regards to Sherlock, this is the last quote I want to go over. Todd teases, I'll just say he has a different agenda from Thorne. As for what that agenda is and whether it's good or evil you're going to have to wait for the season to play out we'll also have to wait and see whether Barry and Nora time traveling back in time will have any impact on the timeline I feel like towards the end of the season is where we're going to see that kind of repercussions episode 100 had Gustin teased and Todd actually teased as well there's something that will happen probably way down the line that you realize but no right now we're not playing it in the same way like we do so what they're teasing is essentially with Sherlock it's sort of it's uncertain what his true motivation is as he goes on throughout the season I think from the start of the season it's really kind of cut and dry for the most part with Sherlock but I think he's gonna get a bit more detailed and a bit more background put into him throughout the rest of the season and with him especially to do with Thorn and Nora if he finds out about that is he going to reveal anything or not and so 
Grant actually talked about the fact that there's going to be repercussions from episode 100 and so that's most likely with the timeline and everything that happened with them going back in time. I think this could be a way perfectly to reintroduce Zoom because Teddy Sears had a really minimal amount but also he knows about Nora, he knows about the Flash, he knows he gets his speed back so at this point he realises I fail. So essentially like Reverse Flash has seen many times before, he's like, I fail or yes I'm free and I can just kill you right now. It's the same thing, so Zoom is perfectly set up to return and maybe that will be a repercussion or it will be a repercussion in that maybe Nora ceases to exist by the end of the season or something along those lines. So thank you guys so much for watching this video, if you did enjoy it please be sure to leave a like and a comment. Also, please be sure to check out my film podcast channel. We reviewed Aquaman recently. Also, we got a Mary Poppins one coming up very, very soon. Love that film. Also, please be sure to subscribe to my film channel and also follow my Twitter if you want to stay up to date with me. So anyway, guys, I will see you guys later. Goodbye. Shut free.